I've got to turn an engine stand into an outboard stand. This is a homemade engine stand. It got a lot of use, but it spent a lot of time outside, unfortunately. There's a lot of corrosion, and this square tubing here is essentially fused into one piece. I've got to remove it because I've got to put my own post in there. I don't want to destroy the original because it's not mine. If you saw the first video, I had a heck of a time getting out a broken off bolt that was all corroded in one of these nuts. I started, hopeful as always, by spraying some PB Blaster in there, but nah, that didn't do it. So I had to break out the heat, broke out the sledgehammer. I could not get this thing to budge. I've cut out several hours of pounding and heating and quenching and heating again and all the things you do before you start getting desperate. So I'm taking out the attachment head. I'm going to stick a tractor jack in there and put some oomph on it. People use tractor jacks to lift houses. Safety Susie, look away. Yes, I'm using a cutting torch above a oil-soaked carpet. It's hard to see what I'm doing here, but I'm pressing down on the handle of the jack and simultaneously reaching forward to, to whack the thing with a sledgehammer. It's awkward, but it worked. That's it. We're done. All I gotta do now is run to the hospital and have my testicles reattached. There you go. That's green welding, man. It's eco-friendly. <laughs> Mother Nature's a hell of a welder. Good, now that I've got the crappy rusty square tubing out of there, I can put my own rusty crappy square tubing in there. This is a 20 year old AC Hobart welder. It's time to upgrade. Those welds suck.
I'm no engineer, but I think this is going to hold up that Mercury 90 horsepower engine just fine. I looked up a test on YouTube, and this guy was testing a bunch of different wood glues. This Gorilla wood glue was rated at 300 pounds per square inch or something like that. A little more. This is a 14 by 16 inch setup. You multiply that out, that's 224 inches. You multiply that by 300, and uh, that's like 67,000 pounds. So I don't think it'll hold that much, but I'm pretty sure it'll hold my engine, particularly once we put a plate with some half inch fasteners going through the middle of it. When I was almost done, I, I kind of went back and looked at the outboard and decided that the weight was going to be sitting too far back in the stand. So I'm cutting a few inches off here and we're going to shift the whole thing forward. I've been surprised how well this set of bits from Harbor Freight has worked for me. God darn it. Bleep. Chinese bullshit.